All right, guys, I'm recording from my phone because I'm heading to um, RGV Baitmasters here in Los Fresnos, Texas with Captain George. I'm going to head out today. It's it's 3.47 p.m. still kind of early. I'm going to head out later on, like around 6, 6.30 with my dad to Pirates Landing Fishing Pier. But before we do that, we're going to head over to RGV Baitmasters for one reason today. And that's to get some blue crab. Oh, yeah. Captain George is selling blue crab now. And not only is he selling blue crab, it is live blue crab. So you know what that means, guys. Take some blue crab either to the pier, the surf, the jetties, you know, pretty much almost anywhere, really. Um, and you're bound to catch a big black drum, a big ugly, or even a bull red, for that matter, if there's one in the area. So, today's mission is to go to Pirates Landing Fishing Pier. I don't usually go there. When I do, we just catch trout. Not a big deal. Um, that's why I usually don't post uh, uh, videos at Pirates Landing Fishing Pier. Because it's just like non-stop trout action. But it's like small trout for the most part. Um, and some keepers here or there. But anyways, the goal today is to catch some, at least one big ugly. We haven't uh, fished for a big ugly in a long time. We haven't fished the pier in a good minute. And what better way to do it than with some live blue crab. So let's go ahead and get to RGB Baitmasters here in a second. Get some blue crab. I brought my cooler with me so I can take it with me. And I'll see you guys when we get to the uh, pier. Stay with me. See you in a bit. Hear that? Yeah. Okay, you're gonna fight it. Drag is good. Drag is good. Grab it. Alright. Fight that. It's gotta be a stingray. Yeah. Alright, so I'm reeling in when it when it stops. Alright guys, we're on the stingray now. Hopefully we don't get spooled because it's yeah. Alright. Try to catch some line back. There you go. Yeah. Just keep the rod tip up as much as you can. There you go. I'm gonna kind of drag a little bit of Yeah. Alright. Ooh, hopefully you don't get spooled. Almost out of line, guys. Almost out of line. Yeah, there you go. Walk backwards if you can. Just keep your rod tip up. There you go. There you go. Walk backwards if you can slowly. There you go. There you go. And then go forward when you reel, reel when you reel down. Go forward. There you go. It's like that. Just like that. Go back. There you go. He's gonna run left. So yeah, yeah. You're probably gonna have to come this way. You got him. Try, try walking this way either way, Dad, because it's going to run left. Walk slowly this way. You have to go over their lines. 
Is it running right or left? Left. Yeah, you have to come. You have to come this way. My dad's on a big old stingray. Woo, told you it wasn't easy. Yeah, you're gonna have to come this way, Dad. You have to go over the people here. We're gonna go over you guys, sorry. This is this is the tricky part, Dad. Here, here let me the rut. Get on the left side of the pole. Rillin, rillin. There you go. Walk it down. This way. <laughs> Get the wall this way. You're gonna have to walk more left. That come on. They get more leverage. He's gonna cut you off. Real, real, real. Real as you're walking forward. There you go. Sorry guys. I think he's gonna cut you off. Yeah. Just keep fighting it. I'm gonna have to tie up drag up a little bit on you. He's gonna cut you off on the pillar. Yeah. He cut you off already. That was good while it lasted. <laughs> Thanks guys, sorry about that. Yeah, he ran right into the pillar. Yeah. But hold on to the line here that when you're reeling in. There you go. Reel, reel in like that. Mm, maybe. I don't know. We had to drag pretty tight there because last time I, I hooked the one up, it ran under the pillar like that. And it cut me off. But right there, you had to tighten it up because you're going to lose yeah. him either way. Yeah, they're strong. Yeah, no, you gotta move with it. Thanks, guys. Sorry about that. Yeah, the line got frayed up, I think. Look. Or is that the. What do you think? Not Earth. It got frayed up. It popped or frayed? Popped? This one's got a. This one's got a. I think 50 pound braid. The other one's got a 65. Yeah, you gotta really stop these guys. So it's. That's so why you need heavy line. That was a good run, Dad. Yeah. A for effort. <laughs> <laughs> I know the knots are pretty good, but. I don't know. Think I have enough line for another run or no? We'll find out. Yeah, we lost that one, guys. He ran into the pillars on the other side. So, cut the line. Yeah, if he would have kept running straight, he would have slowed down eventually. Yeah. Up the digging the ground. Yeah, they 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 suction themselves because they they freak out. All right, guys. So this is what we're doing. We're using whiting, just in case you guys want to know what bait that was, since I wasn't recording. And we're only using the body. The fish tend to like it better. They don't really eat the head. And I'm throwing it on a 6500 spin fisher with i think this one's got 50 pound braid Man. usually i use an 80 pound monoliter or 100 but we only have 60 pound right now so we're gonna make that work if we can and with a seven knot circle hook get a good amount of meat on it just like that Toss her out. God 
damn. The drag might have been too tight too. Can't even move it. And we had that drag tight. What do you got? Black drum? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's a black drum. It's a big ugly dad. <laughs> How, try, how tight is your... Oh, it's a big Dang. boy. Oh, uh, tighten up your drag a little bit if you can. Just a little bit, not too much. They don't really fight that hard, but... So how are we going to get it up, Dad? <laughs> I think we'll get one. Yeah. Sure. Oh, yeah. You can hold it here while you keep in here. Yeah, I'm going to have to yeah. see if I can... Right now he'll get tired out. Keep your rod tip up a little bit. There you go. Let me see. You guys have a ring net by chance? You guys have a ring net? No? Let me get one. Alright, I'm gonna have to go get one. Oh, oh. Go this way, go this way, gonna cut you off. Tying up your drag. Tying up your drag. There you go, you got him out, you got him out. He's gone. On the blue crab, oh, you tied up too much of that. I ended up too much. Ooh, it's okay, Dad. Get another one. You know what freaked me out is that the rod bent. Yeah. And they just came back up. It's because he went up, but I think you tied up the line too much. Yeah. Let's see what you got here. Yeah, it looks like something weird happened right here. Well. Let's retie that. You win some, you lose some. Yeah, those those fuckers are strong too, but yeah, I was worried when he started going under the pillar. But we'll get that. We're, we know they're here then. I'm gonna see if they'll lend me the pier net. I thought it was a trout. Well, guys. That's gonna be it, man. It's gonna be a quick, short video. We, um, my, I got my dad hooked on a big old, big old stingray. Unfortunately, we couldn't stop it. And he hooked onto a black drum, but we, I wasn't prepared for it. I used to always take a ring net or a pier net to the pier uh, for the same reason that we needed it. Uh, but I don't know where it's at. So we weren't ready when we did get that one black drum and that one stingray just ran like hell so we weren't able to stop it but it was fun so it was going to be a short video hope you guys liked it uh going go to paris landing uh go get you some blue crab at captain george and get you a, a big old ugly man i'll see you guys in the next one